Today is the ultimate sports relay race. I will be taking the three fastest players from five different sports. I will then be grouping those players by sport onto five respective teams. All three players in each sport will have to score. Each score will be timed, and after all three players have scored, they will get a final time for their sport. The sports team that scores in the least amount of time will walk away as the winner. And it's time for the Wheel of Sports games to get us started. Which sport, which team will be starting this off? It'll be the NHL. The three fastest players in NHL 24 are Connor McDavid, Kel McCarr, and Nathan McKinnon. So I have the stopwatch ready to go as we load into this first NHL game with Connor McDavid. Now I'm going to start the stopwatch as soon as the faceoff is taken. After McDavid scores, we pause it until we get into the next game with the next player. And we'll be doing that for every single sport, for every player. And here we go. The NHL is getting us started first. The stopwatch has now been going. And we have McDavid, fastest player in the NHL, couldn't get a shot. McDavid gonna split the defenders if I know him with that speed. McDavid, he scores 40 seconds for the first National Hockey League player. And that's a good start for them. So here we go. Now we're loaded back into the next game. The 40 seconds carries over from McDavid. Now we get the puck to Kale McCarr. Once he scores once again, we will stop the stopwatch. McCarr trying to get him the puck, couldn't quite do it. He currently cannot. Not get the puck for Kel McCarr. He's going to take longer than 40 seconds just because I can't get the puck. We finally have possession. Let's get it in the zone. He's taking longer than 40 seconds already. Just get it to McCarr and let him work a little bit. Trying to find a good passing lane. There it is. McCarr's got speed. In the zone. Rips a shot. And that's a good save. Just let McCarr skate. Just let him skate. Let him fly. McCarr across the net. Another save. McCarr just trying to get to the front of the net. And he still can't put it in. McCarr used the speed, used his great shot, finally gets it to go. That'll make the NHL's time 4 minutes 59 seconds. But well, we are back in Colorado. Once again, we carry that time over. This time with Nathan McKinnon, and McKinnon could score quickly, and he almost did. I should have went to the backhand there. That might be my fault, but McKinnon takes a quick wrister. He's trying to make up for that time of his teammate, McCarr. And McCarr actually got a quick skate up to the net right there but he doesn't need to score this time it needs to be mckinnon it's mckinnon let him shoot mckinnon snipes it what a shot so mckinnon and mcdavid take about 40 seconds to finish the nhl at five minutes 42 seconds and with that time the nhl gets us started on the leaderboard well i honestly don't know how that time is going to hold up since this is the first time i'm doing a video like this we will have to see but now on to fc24 and here are your three fastest players in all of fc24 well we are once again starting this with the fastest player and that is Kylian Mbappe for France. And Mbappe is going to have to set the tone here for FC24. And Mbappe is full of... Are you serious? What a save on Mbappe. Mbappe obviously not only just a fast player, but one of the best players. And they just saved it on him. And we're trying to get it to Mbappe. Nice steal, but we got to get it to Mbappe. And he's there. Mbappe puts it in. 33 seconds for Team FC24. A few moments later. Oh, they waved it off. Are you kidding me? They waved off Mbappe's goal. I got to restart the timer here. I didn't see that one coming. Wipe that 33 seconds off. Mbappe's got to do it again. Mbappe, you got to score now. You're supposed to set the tone. You are completely flying and it's in Mbappe. Well, now we take that two minutes and six seconds and we bring it over. For our second fastest player. And if I mispronounce his name, let me know in the comments down below. But we are flying out of Yemi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Oh, he got robbed. He got absolutely robbed. These goalies are making nice. Oh, it hit off his head. But these goalies are making nice saves. Adeyemi is going to have to pick up some pace. Mbappe didn't get a great time, but not a bad time. He's flying. Goes around the goalie, and he puts it in. Two minutes, 56 seconds for Team FC 24. Get it to him. Here we go. Vinicius. Vinny Jr. He's got it. He scores. Four minutes, 
50 seconds and Team FC24 take first place. And that puts FC24 in first place on the leaderboard. And next up is going to be the MLB. Three fastest players in MLB The Show 23 are Ellie De La Cruz, who's not in this image. We have Bobby Witt Jr. and Trey Turner. And with these MLB players, we'll be attempting to hit inside the park home runs. All right, Ellie is ready as soon as we're ready for the pitch. Let's start it. And we got to put it in the left center field gap or the right center field gap. This is going to be a little bit challenging for MLB because not every attempt is going to go the way you want it. The good thing about being in practice mode, though, is that it can reset the play immediately. If it doesn't go where we want it, we got to hit it to one of these gaps. Come on, Ellie. Put a ball in the gap. There it should be. That ball should get down. It's going all the way. It's not a ground rule double. Ellie De La Cruz rounding the bases. He's got to get there. He's got to beat the throw. Ellie, I think he was out. And after reviewing the play at the plate, it looks like Ellie De La Cruz is out. Ellie, maybe this time, left center field. Don't hop off the wall that far. Sit there in the corner. There's no way this isn't inside the park home run. We can walk to the plate. And Ellie has done it in 2 minutes 33 seconds. Can we get both of these MLB players done in a 2 minute span? Exactly where Ellie put it. Sit down again, ball. Don't get a great bounce. That was actually a great bounce for us. Trey Turner rounding the bases. Get the stopwatch ready. And only, what, 20, 30 seconds, Trey does it. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing. We're on the road to 100K. And now for Bobby Witt Jr. Blake Snell about the pitch. We are ready. Not quite center field. You got about a minute and 40, Bobby Witt, to take the lead over the FC24 team. And that might do it. That's going right center this time. If it gets down, we got a great chance. It bounces by the bench. We got a great bounce. There's no way he's going to be out here. Bobby Witt Jr. Quicker than anybody else. Three minutes, 30 seconds. And here is your updated leaderboard with MLB The Show in first place. Well, we have two more sports to go to see which sport is the fastest. And we have the NBA and NFL left. Will it be the NBA? Yes, it will. And here are your three fastest players in NBA 2K24. And for the NBA, we're going to do things a little bit different because there's so many more points in the NBA instead of runs, touchdowns, and goals in the other sports. These NBA players will have to score four points. And here we go in the NBA. As soon as the tip goes like it does right there, the stopwatch begins and De'Aaron Fox will get us started. We can let the Celtics team score. It does not matter. Jalen Brown, you can take your shot. We just need to score. That was a nice shot, by the way. Fox, we just got to score. We need four points for De'Aaron Fox. Just get around everybody. With that speed, De'Aaron Fox to the basket. Green light goes in. Now, once again, we can let Jason Tatum shoot. It doesn't matter. We just need to get the ball back in De'Aaron Fox's hand, which he has it. With that speed, flying past the defense. And 40 seconds, he slams that one down on the player two. Score to beat is 330. James Harden shoots. That doesn't matter. He misses if we can score quickly. That would be awesome. I'll take a jump shot if possible. Nope, I thought I had one. If we can score before two minutes, we're going to have a great chance with player number three up next. Let's get a pick for Donovan Mitchell, maybe. Okay, hold on. I don't want to get a shot clock violation. Donovan Mitchell, mid-range. It's good. It's cash, 144. And the NBA has a chance for first place as we are actually on NBA 2K23 now, not 24, because John Morant is suspended for the beginning of this season. In NBA 2K24, for some odd reason, you can't use him in play now. So John Morant going to slam it down. Once he comes back from suspension, he will be in 2K24 for play now. But for some reason, I can't use him in play now. I can't sub in suspended players, so it is what it is. That's fine. He's still very fast in this game. And we scored two points already. I know I'm blocking the scoreboard here, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the top right of your screen where John Moran has two points. They changed the scoreboard from NBA 2K23 to 24, the location on the screen. Ja, you got 50 seconds here, and you have a lane. Ja, Moran slams it down. Two minutes, 57 seconds, the NBA in first. And that leaves us just with Madden 24 left. And here are your fastest players in Madden 24. And here we go to finish this thing off. Tyreek Hill getting it started for the NFL and pressure into his face right there or Tyreek the fastest player in the NFL was gone but I'm gonna try this one more time Tyreek just has to get in the end zone 
Then we have the other fastest players. And look at Tyreek go! The fastest player on all Madden difficulty is in the end zone in just 27 seconds. Well, you know I have to try it again because it works second time for Tyreek. Will it work second time for Waddle? Tua letting it fly. Jalen Waddle. Are you kidding me? 55 seconds for the Dolphins duo. And now we carry over those 55 seconds for Jamison Williams. We snap the ball with Goff. We go one-on-one -on -one to Jamison Williams who has the catch. And now just has to go 36 yards in a minute and a half about to win this challenge for Team NFL. Jamison Williams. We're trying to get out of the pocket with Goff. Can, does he have enough speed to get there? He doesn't. Got about 40 seconds. I just want to give him a chance with the ball in his hands to use that speed. Can I do it? No! I'm picked off! I forced it to him! And that's going to ruin it for Team NFL unless... I get the ball back immediately. We're going to simulate till we get up to defense. But we got 20 seconds. This is going to come down to the last second right now. Play moment. We're going to go one-on-one -on -one to Jamison Williams. We're going to air it down the field. If he can do this in 10 seconds, they'll win. 257, score to beat. No help over the top. But Jamison Williams can't get to the ball. And Team NBA is going to win it. There's a chance they finish in last. If we're not careful, never mind. Jamison Williams, 5 minutes, 21 seconds for Team NFL. And here is your final leaderboard with Team NBA winning it all. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels, which are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.